flagship captain. Captain, uh, I don't have to tell channel. you how important this mission is to national security. The entire free world is in danger. Have you briefed your men yet? Yes, sir, as we speak. It's time to go to work. Yes, sir. Every major terrorist act in the last four years has either been executed or devised by this man, Lieutenant. These are the only photos we have. Baker, get your head out of your ass and get over here. Yes, sir. It's not much. Not much. You can't see anything. What else do we know about this guy? All we know is that he goes by the name Casper, and that he's the most resourceful terrorist in the world today. So, I'm sure you all jump for joy when I tell you that our orders are to bring him back alive. Eloquently put, Captain. Thank you. Now, Intel reports that they do have underwater defenses, though antiquated. They may still be operational and can't kill you. At 2035, we'll break the surface, commence onto the target, and if all goes well, we'll be back by 2115. In time for a late snack. Ha! Ah. Finish checking your gear. We'll assemble in the launch room in nine minutes from Mark. All right, you heard the captain, ladies. Move! Steve. Yes, Captain. When you call me Captain when no one's around, I know something's wrong. What's going on? Nothing. Come on. Been friends a long time. I know you better than that. Got a call from Karen. My baby's due tomorrow, and I'm not going to be there. Captain Jeffries, all engines stop. We are one half click from target. Copy. I'm sorry. Gages. Don't worry, guys. I'm from God's country. We'll be safe. It's showtime, baby. Ha! Hack release activated. All systems go. We're close. Doing any last minute checks on here.
How are you doing with that? Not there yet. Is it something you can fix? I don't know. It might be these cheap wires. What? I said it might be these cheap wires. What about you? I'm done.
Casper! Get away from the Get table! Casper! Where is he? He's gone! He is not stupid enough to hang around when a bomb is about to explode. In 15 seconds. Andreas Thrasos. Where's Casper? Don't give me that look. I asked you a question. Where is Casper? Last chance. Where's Casper? Oh, no, 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 no. You need me. For what? There's things I can tell you. Ah. Looking for Casper. He's been in hiding for ten years. You think he tells me where, where he goes, his servants, where he goes, where he lives? You think I have his address and his phone number? Then you don't mean shit to us, kill him. Oh. 
Ah, 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 no. no, don't, don't, don't. Come on, be smart. I don't know where Casper is. I, I, I know what he wants, though, I can tell you that. Be smart. So tell us. Tell us what he wants. The Stormbringer. If you find that bomb, you'll be able to find Casper. Last of the Cold War super weapons? I am an explosives expert with a physics degree. That is a cluster bomb with six warheads that fire simultaneously on detonation. A bomb like that can wipe out six cities at once. The Russians dismantled those after the Soviet Union collapsed. Oh, well, not all of them. They kept some, and they're selling them. This one, the Grill Albanians are buying, the Freedom Army. And they want to use it to resolve their border conflict. What's Casper got to do with that? Casper brokered the deal. What the hell are you talking about? You said find the Stormbringer and we find Casper. Now you're telling me sold the goddamn thing to the Albanians? You're not, you're not getting it. Casper needs this deal to go down. Why? Because once the Russians deliver the bomb, Casper will steal it from the Albanians. And then uh, he'll sell it to the highest bidder. Relay that to Intel. Find out if it's bullshit. Can, can you loosen these cuffs? I can't feel my pinky. expecting you. Thank you. Rick, good to see you. Commander? A drink? Uh, no, thank you, sir. I'm fine. That's all right. Have a seat. Rick, I'm cut to the chase. I want you and your men to steal that bomb. The next worst thing would be for Casper to get his hands on it. So, Casper, are we after him again? If he surfaces, we'll take him out. Casper's a secondary target this time around. This is not a revenge mission. This is about getting the bomb, and I've given you the team to do it. Rogers is an expert in demo. If you can't take the bomb out, he knows how to disable it. What's the extraction plan? You'll travel via land from Albania to Camp Bonsteel. Illegal op. You'll be on your own. It's damn near a suicide mission. Most of them are. What about Jacobs? What's his story? A shooter. Top of his class in his target introduction course. In Bosnia, I got a Serb sniper from half a mile away. Single shot. Looks like he's the only one with combat experience. He says he's still wet by the ears. Wants you to hold his hand. Smart kid. McGee's your new communications officer. Ivy League boy. Watch out. No, I can't take this one. What? This one, I don't want him. I can't take him. You have to, Rick. <laughs> Is that an order, sir? Because I don't like to make mistakes, and I sure as I don't like repeating them. You read the report. I lost good men on that island, sir. And Baker might as well pull the trigger himself. Now, calm down. He's a loose cannon, sir. He's trigger happy. He's going to get us all killed. I'm sorry, sir, but he's bad for the team. I'm pissed off enough to kill a little bastard, and I'm too pissed off to reason through it. Now, you can give me a psych leave so I can fix my head or whatever, but you need me now, and I'm telling you I don't want him on the team. Baker's father is a senator on the Armed Services Committee. Oh, Jesus. Defense appropriation. Christ. He wants his son returned to active duty. I never thought you'd screw us over politics, sir. Politics is what pays your salary, son. 
I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. You'll need a tour guide over there. Come in! Hello? What? You, you can make me take Baker, but you cannot make me take this terrorist son of a bitch. We told him if he didn't help us, we'd make sure he died in prison. I should have put a bullet you and I at the take chance. Take it easy, Rick. Actually, I'm happy to see you again, Captain. I didn't get a chance to express my condolences. You know what? I just changed my mind. I'll be happy to take him. But I can guarantee he ain't coming back. Commander. I know the truth about who you are. And you're a goddamn liability. delivered by a Russian convoy to a military depot in northeast Albania on April 13th. Which means we have less than 36 hours to beat Casper to the depot and steal the bomb before he does. Going in the water. What's your idea? Sir, drop. Help him.
friends of yours, Andreas? I don't know who they were. Yeah, right. Watch him. All right. What should we do? Just drive. Keep going, keep going. It's just a checkpoint, everybody relax. Captain, with your permission, I think it might be best if I did the talking. You better make it damn good. Look at that tank. You speak Albanian well for an American. I spend a lot of time in your country. Where you are going? Kosovo. Skoda. Why you go there? We're UN observers. Observers? Yes. Papers. I see driver's passport. Just give it to him. Thank you. Hotel today, huh? Yes, it's been a long drive. I know talking to you. I talking to him. I talking with 
Bunker. Yes, it's hot. Okay. Right here. Stay cool. Relax. Miller, hotwire that van. Yes, sir. How close are we? Uh, I'd say about another half hour. Package is on the way. Roger, understood. Make your way back. Truck for a bomb. Oh, 
сто. So how do you want to do this? First, you, Baker, McGee, and Rogers will go in and lay charges in case something goes wrong. Rogers, I want you to set a canister of gas in the barracks in the back. Right. First light, we'll go in and take the camp. Jacobs, you're gonna cover us from that guard tower. Sir, why don't we just do everything now? I mean, let's get in there. You wanna fight the Albanians and the Russians? No, sir. No. I don't either. It's nothing worse than a pissed off Russian pump full of vodka. But, Captain, how are we gonna get the bomb? You're gonna carry it on your back. Baker, heads up. Now there's something you don't see every day. Get out of there, Baker. stairs. No, you didn't have to do what you did back at the UN van. If I didn't, we'd all be dead. As much as I hate to say it, I'm gonna need you when we go out there. And obviously you know how to use it. Thank you. 
Roger, start the gas. Roger that. Jacobs, you said? Captain, I have a shot. Baker. Ready. Miller. Ready. Yeah. Ready. It's done. Jacobs, take the shot. Take the shot, Jacobs. Damn it, there's no keys.
I think it would be safer if we stay off the main roads. I know of some mountain roads that are around here, but it'll take us longer to get to the border. You'll be fine, man. We need to stop before that. Stop? Bakers are bad. He won't make it to the border. We need to s stop now. There's a uh, an old quarry about 45 kilometers from here. Very hidden. This isn't about Baker at all, is it? Take us to the quarry. <laughs> Stop. I don't remember asking your opinion. Our mission was to get the bomb. And to take Casper out if he surfaces. Yeah, and you're doing everything you can to make damn sure he does. You know, I don't think I like where you're going with this, Lieutenant. You have to leave Casper behind. Be because of that motherfucker, my best friend is dead, so don't fucking tell me what I need to do. Again, Rogers. I guess I'm not cut out for this. Picked a hell of a time to tell us. Still got work to do. You keep dragging me along, you'll never get this bomb out of here. So what are you fighting for, Andreas? Fighting for? You mean like a cause? Sure. Fight for many things, Captain. Casper pay you well for those things? I don't do it for the money, right? Not a materialistic American. Tell me about these non-materialistic things you feel so deeply about that you're willing to help the world's biggest butcher kill innocent people. Wait a minute, Captain. I mean, you work for the American government. They're much more of a butcher than Casper will ever be. I fight for democracy, human rights. Why do anything without purpose? Maybe we're not so different after all. Pull off right up here. Right up here. It's gonna be one hell of a luxury night. Something ain't right here. Miller, Jacob, secure the perimeter. Yes, Rogers, sir. take Baker and Captain. go down to the... Decision, Captain. What about you? Miller, drop your weapon.
reason to get sentimental about such a small weapon. <laughs> Bitch. What did you call me? You heard me. Please, tell me again if you have the balls. Anya, that's enough. You Casper? You're looking for Casper? Don't patronize me, you know I am. Well, you found him. Huh. <laughs> at ease. I have never been more at ease in my entire life, Captain. God, we are good. I missed you so much, Casper. Surprise. How are you gonna take me down now, huh? Oh, your mission was a big success. Only you were too stupid to realize it. I'm poor, obedient, and scared Andreas. Can't swim, can't escape, can't do anything without the permission. The great, big, strong Navy SEALs. You piece of shit. Be careful, Kenneth. You're not talking to Andreas anymore. You're talking to me. And I can shoot, remember? Yes. All right. Krasniak. Yes. Gather the trucks in the quarry. We leave at dawn. Cuff these assholes. That's good. Put your head up, buddy. Oh. There you go. Lean back. Thanks. Did you bring my bag? Of course. Put it in my room. Pretty smart. Kissing ass, using us to get Stormbringer. Well, it was worth it, Captain. Couldn't have worked out better in that commander of yours. Well, all he wanted was a Stormbringer. A few decorations, maybe make general. You know what he did? He let me make calls from an unsecure phone line the second you left. So when you caught all your sissy little terrorist friends to ambush us at the water pipe. Yeah. And that didn't work out as planned. So I had to improvise. I decided to take advantage of the phenomenal opportunity and let you and your Navy SEAL steal the bomb for me. You don't know me, Captain. I am extremely ambitious. I'm also extremely lazy, so I prefer to let other people do the dirty work. The gorillas will kill you when they find out what you did to them, you know that. The Albanians. The Albanians are incapable of running a gas station, much less a government captain. But you arrange for them to buy it. Yes. And lose it. I'm doing the world a favor, Captain. But I'll let you take all the credit. Oh, I'm sure you will. You are an Imperial Yankee on a search and destroy mission in a third world country. And when they find your bodies, they will have all the evidence of your atrocities. I'll be sneaking away quietly with the bomb. Well, why wait? Why don't you just go ahead and kill us all right now? What are you using it for? In a few hours, 
The bomb will be lowered into a trawler in the port city of Doris. And in 10 days, it will sail into a harbor on the east coast of America, where it will detonate, Captain. What do you get out of it? Smell it. What the, that? Yeah. Oh hell, that's uh, that's me. That's a uh, long line for the shower. <laughs> Can't greed, bleeding internally. My legs are about to rot off. Wait. <laughs> Stevie looked up to me his whole life. Became sealed because I did. He thought it was cool. I tried to tell him not to, but he joined anyway. Good seal. Did his job like he was told, and he never panicked. And saved my life in the process. God damn. I just keep seeing his face. The way he was looking at me before he died, it's like a fucking movie over and over in my head, you know? Part of the job, Rick. We all know that. He was my best friend. And you were right. Ever since then, all I wanted to do was get Casper, that motherfucker. And I jeopardized the mission, and I jeopardized my men. How we fucked up doesn't matter. Question is, what are we gonna do about it? Captain Jeffries. If you please. Anya. You stay. Righto, let's go.
ready to leave? Soon. They're talking. There's uh, one guard on him. Revenge, Captain. What? You asked what I get out of it. Revenge for what? Five years ago, in Belgrade during the war, I had a beautiful wife, Viara, and a wonderful little boy, Milos. We lived in an apartment on the outskirts of the city. On the night of the American bombing, my son, he heard a loud crash outside. So he runs out into the courtyard, and there below his window is a cylinder half buried in the dirt. Now, I imagine to the boy, it looked like a rocket ship. Smart bomb? Yeah, a smart bomb designed to hit military targets. Now, this place where these people live, these innocent people, my wife, my son, apparently was the target of some considerable military significance. <laughs> Imagine that, Captain. My wife, she heard the boy out in the courtyard, so she runs out there, and I suppose it was about that time that the bomb started ticking again. Wiped out the whole block. My wife, my only son. You ask me why? Well, now I ask you, Captain Jeffries, why? Why did that happen? In every war and every battle, innocent people die. It happens! Not to my fucking wife and kid, it doesn't happen. Your fucking hypocritical government murders numerous innocent people, but it's okay, it's for a cause. They are my fucking cause, Captain. That is my fucking cause. And don't pretend you don't understand, because I've been watching you. I understand the desire. But I also understand that revenge perpetuates revenge. Take him back to his cell. There's a couple of guys loading stuff into jeeps. Looks like some of them are gonna move out tonight. How many? How many trucks? Why? Tell me how many, how many trucks? Listen, I'm not gonna make it out of here, guys. That's bullshit, man, you're gonna be just fine. Bullshit, there's nothing you guys can do for me. All right, Baker. You're dying. You guys want to get out of here? You're gonna need a distraction. I, I, I think I've got one. Trucks are ready. We should get moving. Relax, Krasniak. Have a drink. <laughs> to success. Not yet. It will only be a success when the Americans know what it's like to lose everything they love in a single blast. I don't understand this passion for revenge. The Saudis are willing to pay us much more money for the bomb. It's never been about the money. It has been so long since you lost your family. 
you don't care, that you will be haunted for the rest of your life. You sure it's worth the risk? Casper, you need to come downstairs. We have a problem. in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth. As it is. In heaven. Thy will be done.
the driver! Swift area and head to the docks. Where's Casper? I nailed him. Find Miller and Rogers and come back here. Yes, sir.
That was a pretty good idea. Thanks. Should, he deserves it. He did a lot of growing up on this mission. Surprised a lot of people, especially me. I know. That's what I put in your report. But the senator wants to know what really happened. Off the record. Yeah. Politics again, right? I don't think so. If it was politics, he wouldn't have asked. I'll tell you exactly what happened, Commander. <laughs> Baker sacrificed his life for the mission. His father should be damn proud of him. He died like a man. All right, Captain Jeffries, that's exactly what I'll tell them. They'll be proud to hear it. Rick? Commander? At ease. I don't know about you boys, but I'm ready for a beer, maybe 10. Got any money? Yeah, I'll buy you a beer, get Rogers a stick of gum. Uh, yep, another beautiful day in the Navy.